let me show you one of the most powerful functions of the Cisco SA firewall when it comes to AnyConnect. I'm talking about Dynamic Access Policies, DAP. DAP is really cool. With DAP, you can modify access on the fly depending on different parameters. You can see Dynamic Access Policy as a access list that during the login, the session is going through the access policies, depending if there are matches, different kinds, you can make modifications on the setting. Let's have a look at how it can look like. By default, the app table is empty except for the default access policy, which actually does not contain anything. The DAP is always in use, but there is no changes being done in the DAP at all by default. So you don't have to enable DAP, but you need to add or modify a line in the DAP in order to make something happen. For each line in the DAP table, you need to add a policy name, which is just a descriptive name of what the line will actually do. Let's first have a look at what we can match on. Here in the top part, we have selection criteria. We can match for attributes. For example, we can match for if the user hits a specific group policy or a connection profile, or if it has a specific IP address, if the username is something specific. We can also match on radius parameters. If you use radius to authenticate the users, we can match on any radius attribute that is available from the radius server. That attributes can be retrieved and we can match on those. We're not using radius in this example, we're using LDAP. So we can match on any LDAP attribute as well. There are many LDAP attributes available in the Active Directory. The most common attribute is the member of. The member of attributes on each user shows which groups the user belongs to. We will use that in the next video. We can match on different type of attributes here for the user and we can match on different attributes on the client, on the endpoint. Most attributes here are not available unless you install something called host scan on the AnyConnect client. That's a specific module that needs to be added. And if you add that, you can check for different attributes on the client before allowing the user to connect. For example, you can check if the user is running a specific process on the machine. For example, see if they have the firewall up and running or not. You can check which operating system the client is using. You can check for registry keys on Windows machines to only allow access if a specific key exists or something like that. You can check in the file system if there is a file on the client hard drive or not and so on. And you can also check for which kind of connection the user is logging into, if it is using any connect, IPsec client or client less and so on. You can combine these settings, these parameters, attributes, to check for multiple values. And if you check for multiple values, you can match if they are not being matched. That's a not in the binary. And you can check if they have any of those. That's an or. Or if they have all of the attributes, if you add multiple conditions here, you can see all of the matches. That's an and. The lower part of the screen contains what you can do. You can see the top part as if something and the lower part as then. Let's do an example here. We have just created a user in the Active Directory for the firewall to log in with LDAP. That username could be used to log in with AnyConnect. If we want to protect that and prevent that from happen, we can say if the username equals ASA-Firewall, we can add this as an attribute. If the username is ASA-Firewall, then something, and we add the policy name here, block user ASA-Firewall. The most simple then attribute to do down here is terminate. This will actually prevent the user from logging in. We can add a user message here saying, go away, you are not wanted. This is a user message and I will show you soon. This line here, this access policy in the DAP table, 
is being used to make sure that that user will never be allowed to log in. That's a real easy way to use that. We can also change how they will use AnyConnect by changing different settings here. In the next video, I will show you about network access filters, which is the most powerful part that you can change here. Let's try this. We apply these settings. We try to connect with any connect client. We're already connected. Let's disconnect first to see that one of the Active Directory users are working. Let's take AD user one first to see that can log in. Cisco one, two, three. This is about time where the ADAP is activated and being used. It worked fine. So let's disconnect, connect again. Now we should use the ASA firewall account, which is also in the Active Directory. Say dash firewall, Cisco one, two, three. Login denied because of the block. Go away, you're not wanted. Error message being shown for the user. So this login hits this line in the DAP. If username is AC Firewall, then terminate the session and send the user your way you're not wanted. 